And a fight between Rimuru and Gojo, who would win? I know Gojo is a fan favorite with a bunch of feats, and with the new chapters in the manga, some people may think that he could beat Rimuru. But let's go over who would actually win. We all know Gojo with him being one of the strongest characters in JJK. This is due to his six eyes and his technique. Aside from his immense strength, speed, reflexes, endurance, and great tactical intellect, his strength truly lies in his technique, Limitless, which is derived from the Gojo family. This technique grants its user absolute control over space through cursed energy manipulation at an atomic level, resulting in multiple subsequent results and techniques within the overall ability. With the manipulation of space as it's just the base level of the te technique, with the addition of the six eyes, which is vital to make full use of Limitless, it becomes a true horror to his enemies. Think of his technique as positive and negative energy. His technique is composed of five different moves, with the first being Infinity, which in simplest form is an auto defense that blocks anything Gojo sees as harmful from touching him. He then has blue and red, which are polar opposites. Blue creates a vacuum which can pull his enemies towards him or wherever he wants, then red is the inversion of blue which creates a powerful repulsive force. He then combines these two into an advanced technique called Hollow Technique Purple, which is an imaginary mass that he launches at an opponent which is truly strong. His ultimate technique which truly makes him a force to be reckoned with is his domain expansion, Unlimited Void, which is a metaphysical space that causes the victims to receive all kinds of stimuli and information endlessly restraining their thought processes and actions. Now the metaphysical space I just mentioned will be important in a little bit, but he finally has reverse curse technique which is a powerful healing ability that he grasped on the edge of death. He learned the complex nature of reverse curse technique tapping into the core of cursed energy. With this, he is finally able to unlock the ability not only to heal himself, but also to make positive energy flow into infinity, giving him access to red and hollow purple attacks. At the time, positive energy was a problem for him, but he developed the unprecedented ability to keep a reverse curse technique flowing throughout his body consistently to keep his brain fresh, despite making constant use of the six eyes and limitless at a scale that would normally fry his brains, which also served to heal him from any attacks that should pierce his infinity. Now that that's out of the way, who would win? The obvious answer is Rimuru for many reasons. To answer the reasons, let's go over Gojo's attacks and why they wouldn't work against Rimuru. First, Covenant King Uriel will destroy his infinite void because it's a spatial ability. Covenant King Uriel has full control over space, so infinity is a bad pick against him. One of Uriel's abilities is Absolute End, which damages and overwhelms the target via a severing of space, which makes it a reversal of Absolute Guard. These people agree as well on the screen. The same thing can be said about his domain expansion, which is said to create a metaphysical space. I mentioned this would be important, but you can see where I'm going with this. But even without that, Rimuru has an ability called Imaginary Room, which is infinity sized. So he can hold Gojo's infinity. Mental attacks doesn't work against Rimuru due to resistance to mental attacks and other factors like CL, which can help him. Plus, Rimuru's thought process can be increased by one million fold through thought acceleration. Even blue, purple, and red wouldn't work against Rimuru because he just eat it with his skill Belzebub. If anyone says that he wouldn't be able to store purple in his dimension, it's infinite, so storing purple would be easy. And it would be just converted to energy for Rimuru. But Rimuru just has too many defenses for Gojo to be able to even touch him. And too many ways to beat Gojo. One of the ways being something like Infinite Prison. Which, But due to Rimuru's kit, Gojo is a bad match. But if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know what you think down below.